Hey guys welcome back, and I hope you're all good. Today I want us to talk in length about something. This is gonna be a long lesson, but you guys can tell me in the comment section whether I can break down this entire course into several courses each concerning its own content. But let's kick off, I want us to talk about it, information technology which they later added communication to become information and communication technology. Let us talk about what this is and its branches. It has a lot of branches that one can specialize on, and you cannot learn all of them, no matter how smart you are because they are a lot, and some of them are complicated, and some need a lot of time. So don't say you didn't see a channel you can follow in it, since all are marketable depending on amount of efforts you put to it. It's gonna be a long lesson, but it will give you guys breaks to stretch, so pick up your snacks, and let's get started. Let's start by asking ourselves. What is computer information technology? Computer information technology is a process of studying the use of computer and its applications such as computer network, programming, computer languages and database. Computer information technology has changed our way of living life. This modern world is a living example of computer information technology. We can see the technology growth around us. This is given by computer information technology. By studying information computer technology students get knowledge about many aspects of computer technology, such as server administration, information security, database design and development, web development and system analysis and design. In general, we can say computer information technology improved the growth of technology and its revolutions and make us globally advanced. The range of information technology is beyond our imagination. We can see the advancement in technology and how fast it is changing and improving. Technology sector provides us with a lot of career opportunities. And in the current era, the interest of the student about this sector is getting high to a by as it has high chances of career opportunities. But before choosing the technology sector for your career growth you must be aware of all the career opportunities and information about it. Choosing information technology for career growth is a wise decision until you are interested in this field. There is always a good demand for those who choose it as their career or those who specialize in something. It provides a variety of work and you can choose any of them. A career in computer information technology always pays something more than average salaries. Students learn so many things during their academics and they get to know about their interest. Whether they want to be developer, designer or network specialist. Students learn about the development, designing, implementation, analyzing and many other things. Through the coursework, students get the chance to develop skills in problem-solving techniques. I am here to show you the best places, YouTube channels, sites and boot camps according to my research, where you can learn what you choose. Let's jump on to the next section whether everyone have been waiting. Which are the career courses related to information technology? There are so many career courses related to it, and I will, so many of them, and I'm sure I will leave some behind. You can choose any of these courses, and I will just guide you on what you can do, and where is the best place you can learn. An advice I would give is, in any career, that you choose in it, it is not going to be easy. Don't start comparing what you're learning with what your friend chose. Nevertheless, I'm sure when a group of friends watch this video, they most probably will choose the same course as they say birds of the same feathers fly together. This may be helpful if you and your friends are serious because you can help each other understand quickly and easily hence speeding. You can later work on a project together and definitely that becomes a company. So back to the questions, what are the branches? Number 1 Computer Science is the most popular subject among the students, and there are many reasons behind it, which made it that much popular amongst the students. 
it has a better growth rate for the career including high salaries, job opportunities and many more. So, generally speaking, computer science is the study of both hardware and software. It's up to you to know which field you choose for your career. Computer science uses the mathematical approach for solving the problem. It has many core areas such as software and hardware systems, computer theory etc. Students can choose among the core areas of computer science. Specialization in computer science helps you so get a job in the information technology industry. You can be a programmer, data analysis, computer hardware expert etc. Computer science courses are known as most strict specialization courses by which you can exactly know about the computer systems and their functionality effectively. Computer science is the study of computers and computational systems. Unlike electrical and computer engineers, computer scientists deal mostly with software and software systems, this includes their theory, design, development, and application. Principal areas of study within computer science include artificial intelligence, computer systems and networks, security, database systems, human-computer interaction, vision, and graphics, numerical analysis, programming languages, software engineering, bioinformatics and theory of computing. Although knowing how to program is essential to the study of computer science, it is only one element of the field. Computer scientists design and analyze algorithms to solve programs and study the performance of computer hardware and software. The problems that computer scientists encounter range from the abstract, determining what problems can be solved with computers, and the complexity of the algorithms that solve them, to the tangible, designing applications that perform well on handheld devices, that are easy to use, and that uphold security measures. Some of important advices in learning computer science are 1. Don't expect to learn everything during courses. All computer science and it courses rock. However, universities and colleges won't cover all the skills you might need in a job. For example, if you're planning to go into software development, you might learn a considerable amount of programming languages, but you may need to go beyond that for work. You may have to understand and get the hang of new programming languages on your own, without anyone to teach you. It might be a good idea to look for introductions to online programming languages, some of which are even offered for free, such as Python, MATLAB Java, JavaScript and much more. And I'll talk about all this in this channel. So don't go away, just keep watching point two. Focus on developing you practical computer science skills. What do you learn during computer science degrees? Most IT courses are not all theory compared to courses from other types of degrees, like sociology or economics. Even if computer science and information technology degrees include theoretical classes, their approach is far more practical. For instance, right after a theoretical class, you will have to apply that knowledge through practical exercises in a computer laboratory. Sure, you may have to work on essays, but they will always have to include practical work or projects, both successfully combined with logical explanations for each step and chapter from your work. 4. Don't be a lone wolf. Being able to work on your own and independently motivate yourself is great, and you'll need that. But don't forget that you're not alone, and it's as highly unlikely you'll be alone in the workplace as well. You're likely to be part of a team, and teamwork takes some skills you'll need to brush up on and work constantly. Once you'll find a good study group, you'll surely enjoy to meet with your peers, share ideas and work on interesting projects. After all, that's just the classical way innovation starts, with a few genius minds that come together and work on a new invention until it becomes trademark. 5. Remember, you still have a life. If you study a computer science degree, it may seem pretty daunting as you'll need to learn more, study more, do more. But don't forget to live your life. Have fun, 
meet up with friends, go clubbing or traveling, get involved in some student activities. Your studies are critical, but they shouldn't be the only thing in your life. Going out and having fun will refresh your mind and increase your grades. Relax, have fun, and good luck. Where can I pursue computer science? Computer science is a major course and a large one. It's wise to self-teach yourself, but most employees want computer science degree certificate. This will take a minimum of four years in a university. But here are places you can grub contents about computer science, if it suits you, if else keep watching, and I'll deliver you, just where you can rely on yourself 100% without going to school and get a good paying job, as soon as six months. W3school.com is a site you can visit, it offers different courses, and can be helpful, COD Academy, a boot camp where you can learn for free or affordable price for a pro, and assert YouTube channels such as freecodicomp.org which has a full course in computer science, and Edureka who also have a boot camp. Links in the description for these areas, but these companies have not sponsored this channel, they should by the way. But I'm just giving any important information I have. Information Technology Information technology involves the courses related to the organizing and maintaining the computer systems. It also involves database management and networking. Information technology is basically a study of information. How efficiently you can use them for the desired purpose. In information technology, we learn how to maintain and organize computer systems. It is a separate field of computer technology in which it deals with information. It has greater chances of growth rate. And if students choose information technology for their coursework they can have a better result in their future. Information technology offers several career opportunities such as it consultant, cloud architect, web developer, mobile application developer etc. Information technology can be divided into four-part network systems, information services, programming and digital communication. This career opportunities is what this channel will be concentrating on, this whole information is just to make you understand what is and what it covers. When you go to a company, they won't be looking for an information technologist, but specialists in specific line like a cloud architect, web developer etc., that's why I say going to college or university, to learn it is a wastage of time. You just need to understand the careers in it, and job opportunities and start specializing in a specific career. You can also learn this few thing in Edureka, W3 schools, and some YouTube tutorials. Computer engineering. It is also a part of computer information technology. It is a branch of engineering in which we use the combination of technologies such as computer science and electronic engineering. With the help of this, we develop computer software and hardware. The development of the several important components such as microprocessors, personal computers, circuit design and many more things comes under it. This branch of technology tells us how the computer systems are made and what their internal structure is and how they get integrated. The scope of the career in this branch is quite high and students can get the concepts of both software and hardware. Students get a chance to learn the things in a detailed way and they learn about firmware of the systems. Students can have a bright future if they choose computer engineering as it involves two technologies students can interact with the subjects in a more detailed way. This branch of it has many opportunities and students can have them according to their interest. Today the demand for the computer engineer is quite high around the world. And they can achieve new heights with the help of this branch of it. Computer software and media application. This branch of SIT prepares students in such a way, so that could apply tools to design and publish the product on the internet. This program of SIT also helps students to learn how to manage database and provide security to the system. With the help of this course, 
students also get the knowledge of maintaining the server and pages. This is a very beneficial program and also acquire a lot of opportunities for better jobs. Students can get a better job by learning this course. Today the internet has been essential for everything and nothing can proceed smoothly if there is no internet or error. This program teaches server-side application to the student so that they can easily maintain the efficiency of the internet. This is the reason why this course has that much potential and why it can be a perfect choice for the students for their career. Here are a few things which you learn with the help of this course. Computer graphics designing, computer software and media, applications, data warehousing, database administration, web page design. Computer system administration. We can explain it as it is the management of one or more software and hardware systems of the computers. This kind of tasks is performed by the administrator who knows everything about the system and monitors the system. The main task of the administrator is to check the system health and monitor its resources like space in the disk, performance, backup, user accounts and to check the security functions are working properly or not. Organizations use to hire an expert for performing this job. It is the work of the administrator to check the system and its services are working perfectly or not. They work for installing new hardware and software managing user account maintaining the database of computer and planning the resources in such a way so that it could perform the desired task. It is a branch of SIT which provide a better opportunity to the students for their career growth. Computer system administration is a job of responsibility and by doing these courses you can acquire knowledge on how to perform your job and you can track the performance of the computer. Networking Networking is a separate field of SIT which is completely differ from software and hardware installation and their functionality. By learning networking you to make yourself aware of the communication and you get to know about the communication that how does it flow between the wires. If you learn networking you will get to know that it is basically an exchange of information through the network or wires. In simple language we can explain networking is the practice of data transformation between nodes over the shared medium. Networking is quite a big field of it in which you learn how to maintain the network so that communication never get distracted and interrupted. In this branch of technology, we learn to design and construction of a network. We learn how data flows in the form of bits and bytes. Basically, we have two kinds of networking one is wired networking, another is wireless networking wired networking to require a mode of transportation in the form of wire between the nodes so that data can transfer from one end to another whereas wireless networking uses radioactive waves which move through the air it does not require any kind of wiring and we can connect our devices to the network by using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth sharing. This branch of it provides a greater opportunity by which student can achieve a lot of success in their career. A network engineer always gets little more as compared to the average salary. If you are a student and you have an interest in networking more than software and hardware, then you can choose this branch as your career opportunity information processing this branch of SIT teaches how we should process the information and how to use the information in such a way so that it could be more productive and give us more profit. Information processing system provides a facility of digitalized information. With the help of the information processing system, we can record assemble retrieval and manipulate information. This system includes business software, computer network, and mainframes. Today, information processing is growing very firstly because everything we have achieved in the field of technology is given by the information. This branch of technology is still in the growing phase, and every second it updated self. If you are a student and wants to learn this technology, it is the right decision for you with the help of this technology you can easily play with information.
Playing with information means you will have proper knowledge about the digitalized information and how does it work and how you can use in the computer network. This branch of it also provides a better opportunity and you can pursue your career in this field without having any doubt. Data entry technology is a branch of it by which you learn how you should enter the information into electronic form by using data processing or word processing software. With the help of this branch of SIT, you get to know about all the information about the data entry. Nowadays the field of data entry is growing. Skillful data entry operator can earn a good amount of money by doing data entry jobs. But if you are planning to choose this branch for a permanent career, it will be not and a good option. As today there are already many people who are serving in this field, and the competition of getting a good job in this field is quite high. But if you are a beginner and you want to learn this branch of SID for getting a part-time amount, you can surely go for it. This course will load fewer amounts on your pocket, and you can easily learn all the techniques of this course in a few days only. You just need to be consistent and you can work as a part-time and full-time computer system analysis it is a branch of it in which you learn how to troubleshoot any kind of issues related to the software and hardware. Computer system analysis is a job of responsibility. You have to be very active and critical thinker for accomplishing this kind of job. You can pursue your career in this field because every organization and business needs a computer system analyst for their software and hardware troubleshooting. It is the application of computer science. It provides critical thinking which helps business and their computer system so that they could run effectively. The role of the computer system analyst is to develop and design new systems including software and hardware. Whenever any kind of trouble arises related to the software or hardware, it is computer system analysis that takes care of such things. So if you are planning to make your career in this field you can surely go for it. Ethical Hacking Ethical hacking is a process of detecting vulnerabilities in an application, system, or organization's infrastructure that an attacker can use to exploit an individual or organization. They use this process to prevent cyber attacks and security breaches by lawfully hacking into the systems and looking for weak points. An ethical hacker follows the steps and thought process of a malicious attacker to gain authorized access and test the organization's strategies and network. An attacker or an ethical hacker follows the same five-step hacking process to breach the network or system. The ethical hacking process begins with looking for various ways to hack into the system, exploiting vulnerabilities, maintaining steady access to the system, and lastly, clearing one's tracks. These are some of the few courses based in ICT. I will soon be talking about some of the most important skills to have as an ICT expert. These are the most essential skills such as designing skills, programming skills, network configuration skills to name a few. Thanks guys for watching, I will be back soon with hot videos. Please subscribe to my channel and click the like button. If you have friends who can benefit from this then consider sharing and I'll see you soon.